living in the moment You're loving the camp of and life You're living in the moment And loving the camp of and life Ooh. Hi guys, another video, yay! <laughs> Uh, obviously I'm sat in Nina. It's uh, Thursday night. I'm going camping tomorrow with the guys and um, it's about, it is 26 minutes past 10 and Nina is in an absolute state. Um, I've been putting bits and pieces in here ready for the weekend, just chucking them in the side door and uh, Pulling out cupboards and things, looking for stuff. <laughs> it's, it's I'll show you. Uh, down there, I've got my Mavic. Uh, I've got my kites. Thanks to Martin for that. I was watching them, um, watching you do yours on the beach. Um, we're going to see if we can get those up in the air. Prompted me to go up in the loft and find some. Um, yeah, so I'm going to. Uh, Start sorting this out now, and uh, I've got to go work in the morning, and then I'm hoping to go um, sort of early afternoon. All things go into plan, which they rarely do. Uh, I always get there late. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to carry on with that. I shall come back to you. Maybe I'll come back to you when it's all cleaned up and it looks a bit better in here. <laughs> there we go. This is in here. Nice clear floor, nice kitchen, and a nice clear lounge. Yeah, very pleased. Right, I'm going to go to bed, so I will see you probably as I'm about to leave, um, which for you it'll be in a couple of seconds. So, see you in a bit. Ooh, right, I've just finished work, I've just come back, it's just gone two o'clock. Um, just gonna have a bite to eat and then make my way up there. I've got to go and get some fuel first. Uh, just fill my fridge up, that's on and go in. Um, well, it's um, cooling down, the voltage is quite low for um, on the solar at the moment, it's about 13 and a half, 14. Um, because that's running at the moment, but it stops just like on a thermostat, so it stops and starts. So, uh, Oh, right, I'm going to go have some dinner and then uh, we'll make a move. See you in a bit. Oh. Well, we're here. And here we go, that's where I'm parked. It's getting dark now. I've got my awning up. Uh, the other guys were already here. So, oh. that. So there's Rex. There's Joe. Hello, Joe. Hi. And there's Austin all the way over there, actually, where it is. Uh, Sammy would get stuck in the grass here. And this is Nina. And there we go. Oh, something I probably haven't told you is I've had the back windows um, blocked off. I'm going to spray them the same colour, so it'll be the same white. Uh, um, they're not used because there's cupboards the other side. So, uh, so when I get um, graphics put on it, go across all that. Oh, oh we've come back in. Uh, had to sort something out for Rick. <laughs> uh, yeah, the um, black tape bits are pretty good on the window, so. Uh, but that one side, that side there, is going to all be stripped off in the spring and a little bodywork done on it. So uh, once that's done, um, I could probably look at spraying Nina finally or something. Um, we're just about to have a bite to eat, just um, thermalised for the night. So uh, yeah, I'll take the camera over there and uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll switch it on. Uh, um, yeah, all good stuff. So, I'm going to go and have some to eat. Well, we're up in a con con communal, <laughs> communal group. <laughs> With Joe and Austin, and uh, Rick's just gone off to bed, and Zelly down there somewhere as well. And, uh, we've got the log burner going. And I'm just about to go to bed, I think. So uh, it's about 
What time is it? It's just gone ten. I'm going to go in, uh, read my book, and uh, go to bed. So uh, we shall see you in the morning. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. Morning, everyone. Croaky voice. Oh, what a bad night I had. I woke up every hour, like four o'clock this morning, I had a cramp in my leg. It was one of those cramps that stopped and then started again and then stopped and then started again. I think about seven times altogether. And uh, everything's a bit damp in here this morning, everything just feels damp. Uh, it's been non-stop rain all night and uh, it is absolutely soaking wet out there and quite misty at the moment uh, I'm going to get up and make myself a cup of coffee I think uh, I think we're having a bit of a communal breakfast over in Rick's Awning so uh, let's get on with that I'll see you in a bit Anybody get any sleep last night? No. Yes! You did. No. <laughs> I didn't. I was awake every other hour. No, every hour. Yeah. It was two o'clock. Well, it was one o'clock first, two o'clock, three o'clock. Oh, I woke you up. Well, R Rocker was working uh, when you I came out. You got locked in the woods, yeah. didn't you? Well, that yeah. camper coming at midnight. Uh, well, yeah. Straight in behind me last night. That camper. Uh, oh, I saw Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, I heard it. Mm. In fact, I, it's really weird. It was. Ju I just so happened to be peering out of the window. And the field all lit up. Yeah. And I thought, what's, what's that? And then within a few minutes, well, a few yeah, seconds. It was just past midnight, I think it was. Yeah, it was about oh, that. I didn't hear that. I was, in there. I was just yeah. going to bed. Mm. Yeah. It was purely the... coming, so I didn't hear it. I just, I just happened to be looking yeah, out Because it was right behind me. I thought yeah, I was in the... somebody's going to knock on the door or something. Yeah. I was in the communal, <laughs> at, the communal at, and it's pulled right out of that side, so I've gone yeah. out in a panic. Yeah. Bit of up. Go in, and it's, it's a couple, but it's... I just put me in a bit of pack, then I got lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we all get a bit like that, don't we? Panic him, yeah. and uh, you know, well, who's expected turns up. Mm. <clears throat> I think you go What's camping just to sort of chill, and yeah. I'm not and a, really a people we person. I'm a bit anxious. I was to say we're all, people, we're all a bit we all, yeah. social reclusive, yeah. aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. Really. In fact, are we? Are you? Would you say you're introverted or extroverted? Introvert. 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 I think yeah. we're all introverts. Yeah. That's the. That's the. I mean, the thing is with YouTube. Thing where, you're open to everybody mm. on YouTube, but then when you're filming it, it's so near yeah, you. Yeah. That's why I said to you the other day, we should you're do a live yourself. video, and you said, no, not yeah. me. Yeah, exactly, I told you that. <laughs> that would give me the script, is that? I wouldn't couldn't ever do, I live. Couldn't do live. I couldn't no. do it. Couldn't no, do it. I've never, ever... I'd be so even... self-conscious, I, yeah. I can't do that. Well, not only that, if, if ever I'm filming, I, I, I scrap 60% of what I film, because mm. I only put the, you know, it normally takes me quite a few goes to actually get it right before I and put it in. And it's awkward if you go out somewhere as well, isn't it? Because if you, say you visit a place mm. and you're walking around, it's like, oh, there's people. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, I'm trying to show there's a place here, but there's people here. Mm. And you've got to wait you for the people to go before you go. You want to pick his son's He don't care. He didn't, though. Fair <laughs> play to him. He'd done all right. But he's, he's still young enough not to care, isn't yeah. he? So yeah, when, I was on the train, when I was on the train, it was crowded. I just went across the old rock to yeah. get away from them. Because I felt like they were all looking at me, even though they're not. But isn't it weird how we're all like that, but we've all, we've all ended together. up got, yeah. getting together and we're sort of, we, we all get on like, you know, just like house on fire. But then we've known mm. each other for I think, I think that's, lucky. Years I think that's now, quite rare. I think, that's, mm. I think we're lucky. I think what we got here we is something pretty, yeah. pretty sort of mm. solid, mm. pretty special. And I think the only way this happened was because we all were able to suss each other mm. out for our YouTube channels. Yeah. And, and yeah. Facebook as well. The Facebook as well, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But it's, it's literally seeing, because like a picture doesn't really tell you much, but seeing somebody behind a yeah. camera, you know, in front of a camera, yeah. being themselves, well, the figures, sort of tune into them. We, that's how we met, through Rick, Rick Rick's channel, you, uh, I subscribed well, to it was. Yeah, I think then, it was, yeah. Uh, we, we got talking, and then... How did, we, how did I get to? Well, I was watching Rick's allotment videos for whatever reason, I have no idea, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not into allotments whatsoever. <laughs> but then you used to comment a lot, and then I started watching your channel, and then we sort of right. went camping and stuff, mm. didn't we? Yeah, and, uh, yeah we've known each other for a few years mm. now, haven't we? Mm. 
Yeah. Actually, didn't you find my channel? Because my old van was that's the same right. as, yeah. as, as yeah. me yeah. now. I saw, I saw um, looking for Renault, Renault Master. That's how, right, that's how I started when I had the Scudo. I was looking at campers. And then, of course, I come up with your Renault as well. That's yeah. how it yeah. came up. Yeah. Yeah. So, you started it. <laughs> Actually, I still get a bit panicky and anxious when we do these meet-ups meet just for like I, the first few I hours. know, you're, you're really nervous when you yeah. first meet. I do, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think, you know, it's like, um, it's what we've got here is something, I mean, we've, we've sort of come to know each other and we, what we've got here is pretty solid, so it kind of, I get kind of nervous when people say, you know, can we come and join you, and can we visit? Yeah, I, like, I think we all do, because it's, it's just like, you don't want to get too big, because I, I've, I've been in things before, you know, like committees and things, mm -hmm. and you get new people come in, and it just like, it's, it's gone, yeah. what you had before is yeah. gone. Yeah, there's a whole and different flavour to everything. It is, yeah. 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 I mean, it's, you know, it's not always a bad thing. I mean, if it was a bad thing, we'd have all, we wouldn't be together now, would we, oh, yeah, doing this? Sure. But it's, uh, I think once you've got something sort of that works, it's really hard to want to try and change that mm. because you don't want to... I still want to come camping and sort of, you know, if, if it got... You just need one person to to upset the cart, really, and then we all go our mm. separate ways and... It's, I don't want that, you know. No, I'll totally, we have a good time. Yeah, totally get so, that. Yeah. And especially guys our age, it's actually really difficult finding good mates. Yeah. yeah. You know. Well, I was so, saying, was it to you? I said yesterday that you lot are more mates to me than people back home. I said. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. well, true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start me off in a bit. <laughs> no, it's just that. No, actually, I'm going to be honest about it because. I'm good, but uh, I only hear from that lot back home when they want something or need something, mm. and that's it. Yeah, otherwise, I don't hear from them. Mm. Anyway, I've said what I would do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see people, really. I, like when I do, when I take my boy to school, I might see a couple of people in the playground, the young people say hello, that's it. <laughs> I don't really see anybody. Obviously, a couple of neighbours and stuff say hello, and, but that's it, I don't see anybody. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really spoke to anybody properly since last time we went camping. Apart from me, we chatted. Yeah, we. Me and your brothers, aren't we? Yeah, electronic. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jack Yeah, he had, he had some issues, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good yeah. film. That was a good film. I liked that film. That was good. I can't remember it now. That, that was my kind of film because, like I say, I don't go into all, did, the, yeah, all the like deep, that. heavy stuff. I like yeah. light stuff yeah. and feel good stuff. And, yeah, uh, they met all these people. Was... They met that. They met that woman walker, didn't they? And they, they were trying to get rid of her. That's right, yeah. <laughs> they were trying to walk. So, Go on. But we can't leave her here, they were going. Over, and they just didn't want us to come. Right, I'm, I'm who wants a sticker? Oh, yeah, no. oh, yeah, that's ah. I'm still recording. Oh, We're yeah. Back. <laughs> we never left. We've, we've got dark green. You see out there? <laughs> or light green. Who wants what? A couple of each. Oh, well, I'll have a, I'll have a dark green. Yeah, I'll have a dark green. Living in the moment. Thank you very much. So right. I've, got, I've got to stick one on my van, have I? We haven't got to. You stick it on a folder, you just stick it on anything. Oh, thank you. So, living in the moment. Neither, neither the ambulance can but us. <laughs> on YouTube. Selfless promotion there. <laughs> um, got to stick it on moment. your van. It's got all, to go on the back. <laughs> all based on Damon's song. Cheers, mate. I don't know if I mentioned this before, Damon wrote a song. I did. He did. Tell us about it, Damon. Austin's going to do a rendition of it now, aren't you? Austin? <laughs> no, Austin. No, because you can remember it better than me. Last time we were camping, you were playing it over and over and over again. I was so tough with it, and Cluedo, bless him, did that recording for me. Hi, guys. I thought I'd do a vlog in the woods. Look how gorgeous that is. Just look at it. Here's Austin and Ellie. Hello! I'm upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going for a walk and uh, I think Rick's off filming something and Joe's taking Rocco up the other way. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and enjoy some of this lovely uh, autumn spill. And uh, just look at them trees. Oh. Lovely, isn't Absolutely it? gorgeous. From coming. Yeah, that's it. Oh! <laughs> Somebody's left their camera Somebody's behind. left their camera, I'll have that later. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if that's just the trees oh, dropping their water or it's rain, but <laughs> there's definitely some trips going on here. Uh, uh, yeah, we thought we'd better get a walk in before it got too dark. Yeah, we're almost known as the Sculpture Trail at Dursley Woods. Are they called Dursley Woods? Yeah. Something like that, aren't they? Oh, Min no, is it Minchampton Wood or something? No, it's not Minchampton. Oh. We're nowhere near there. What's that, that one up there? Sparkly Lion Common. over there. That's Minchampton Common, isn't it? Up there. Where? That way, the golf course. What's that called? That's, That's not Minchampton, no. Is that Minchampton? No, no. No, no Minchampton is at the um, top of Strayed. Yeah. Mate, I can't remember what that is then. That's wrong in my video then. <laughs> I thought that was Minchant and Common, where no. the golf course is. No. I don't know what it's there, called then. Yeah, we, it's not there. That's at the top of Stroud, that's going up um, through Robra. Yeah, so and you got to oh, the top. Is, yeah, because yeah, I've stayed up there as well. We're in, we're, we're, there. we're in Dursley. I still have camped up there. I can't remember where I got the names from then, I should have got confused. Italy. Yeah, this is one of the sculptures, obviously. Counting pyramid. Do they move? Oh, they do move. There's one triangle, one whatever, and one square. And Ellie's down there somewhere. There she is. Ellie! <laughs> She's got the scent of something. There she is. <laughs> oh, wish I had Barney with me. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, it's lovely in these woods. 
Austin and Annie have gone back to have some dinner. Uh, um, I'll go back and have some in a bit. I just wanted to enjoy this a little bit more. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Just surrounded by woodland. And all the animal noises. Lovely. So this is the sculpture trail in Dursley, in Dursley Woods. Uh, everything's on a big slope. I'm not tilting the camera oddly. <laughs> we had an interesting chat in um, Rick's uh, awning earlier when we were having breakfast. And uh, I think we just all came to realise that we appreciate things um, the way they are at the moment. Um, it's going to sound a little bit selfish, but none of us want to kind of ruin that. And uh, we've all been asked at various points um, if, so, you know, if uh, we can be joined on camping. And uh, I think we've all kind of, I don't think any of us have said no outright, but I don't think any of us really want to sort of um, risk losing what we've we've got um, by sort of adding to the numbers. Uh, right now it works really well and uh, we all enjoy camping. We, there's no sort of big egos involved or anything. Uh, we can take the mickey out of each other and uh, think, oops, and things and um, it's all taken the way it's intended. Um, and we don't really want to sort of I don't know, risk sort of someone sort of coming in and, and not sort of gelling so well and sort of breaking all that up. Um, it's selfish, it is selfish, but uh, you know, it's just uh, the way we want it, I think, at the moment. So, uh, so if you have asked and uh, we haven't really sort of said anything yes or no wise um, that's probably why uh, we just like it the way it is uh, uh, hopefully though you'll all carry on enjoying um, our antics while we are away and I think that's the reason the videos kind of work so well between us all is because uh, you know we are just really good mates so, uh, look at that. Oops, I'm not sure Bobby around too much. I think they're coming up to look over oops, look over Dursley now. There's lots of little um rocks and things around like that. I keep tripping over. You can't see them because of the leaves. lovely air. Lovely, lovely. I think I'm coming to the end of my trail now. And all those buildings that you might be able to see down there through the trees, that's Dursley. Uh, um, let's go back up this way. Not sure what we've got planned for the rest of the day. Um, We've all brought our camera gear and we were going to do some uh, creative photography. Um, I'm not sure that's going to happen. Yeah, it's not actually raining at the moment, but it is forecast. So uh, the photography we wanted to do was particularly at night time. Um, exactly, it's soaked. Well, it looks soaked. I think I remember that bit there. Uh, go back up here. Yeah, that's the big dippy. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, this would have been good for a 360 photo. I did try, but my um, the battery's gone on my 360 camera. Forgot to charge it. Right, I think that's uh, my little adventure in the woods over and done with. So I'm on my way home now. I say home back to the camp. Uh, it's getting, you can't tell on the GoPro, but it's getting a little bit um, dusk now. So uh, I think I'm going to go back and have a cup of coffee and uh, maybe a biscuit or something. A piece of cake. Been good to get out though and get some. Uh, fresh air in my lungs. I uh, really didn't sleep well at all last night so uh, hopefully I'll go out like a light tonight. <laughs> uh, quite a few walkers today, a few people with dogs. Uh, what's this one? Oh the tree of life. I don't know if you can see that. Very nice. Badger and a fox, and now my screen is turned off. Here we go. Spiders' webs, or are they dream catchers? Dream catchers, aren't they? Right. I'm almost uh, back up to the entrance to the woods now, so I'll sign off here and. Uh, I'll come back to you in a bit. Hi right, guys, this is what um, we do of an evening now. <laughs> there's uh, Austin by the side of me, there's no. Joe, there's Rick. <laughs> I think you can all, you can be, you see. And this is our, uh, hang on, let me just sort my uh, gimbal out. And this is what a uh, communal cook up looks like. Oh. Big mess at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do communal wash up. In We've just had it, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think we're going to probably have a hot drink in a minute, or maybe, yeah, mm. and uh, I've got hot chocolate. I sit there on the I just found some in my bag as well. Oh, lovely! I got some Galaxy one. I've got Whisper. Oh, I'll go, I'll go for some Galaxy. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Sainsbury's own. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, I might see you uh, before I go to sleep. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll probably see you before I go to sleep actually, because I got a. a <laughs> little story to tell you of what happened earlier <laughs> so from the others out it'll be a goodbye for tonight and we'll see you all in the morning good morning bye <laughs> hi guys well it's bedtime it's about hang on i will tell you it's nearly half 11 um and i've just come into nina so uh i'm gonna try sleeping up the other end tonight because last night i was slept with my head down that end and I'm on a bit of a slope here, so we're sort of going down like that. And I think I might have had trouble sleeping because the blood was quite rushed up to my head. <laughs> so I'm sleeping at that end this tonight. Uh, see if I do any better. It's a bit weird because I've never slept that way before. So uh, I probably won't sleep because of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a good evening. I had a bloody scare earlier. Uh, after I walk in the woods, which you've probably already seen. Um... I came back with all my camera and gear and soaking wet and everything and uh, the guys were in Rick's awning so I went in there just to say hello and uh, Rick said oh do you want a drink so I sat and had a cup of coffee and uh, then we had some Black Forest Gatto which was very nice mate I really enjoyed that and uh, then we all decided to sort of split up a bit hang on I'll bring you over this side and yeah, then we decided to split up a bit to uh, just going to do our own thing for for an hour or two and uh, I came into Nina and uh, 
could I find my key? Couldn't find my key anywhere. I went through everything. I went into the awning and I just emptied all my pockets out, all the camera bags, everything. No sign of the key anywhere. Um, it's the only key I've got. It's like a remote key. But it's the only key I've got that will actually start Nina. I've got another spare key at home that will open the doors. There's no chip in it. So uh, I absolutely panicked. <laughs> Uh, I went in, uh, got some torture because it was getting quite dark by then. It was, it was almost sort of, um, it was dusk, and uh, so I went in, got a couple of lights off a of rick, and uh, told everyone in a panic what had happened, and went rushing back over to the woods, and uh, they all followed behind. And uh, anyway, I, I, I had an idea because I took my coat off in the woods, and I was down. Um, by like a pyramid sculpture and we were doing um, some filming there me and Austin and I put my coat over this pyramid thing off the floor uh, while I was busy and um, that was my fir first thought was I dropped it there somewhere otherwise it was at the other end of the woods um, at the other end of the woods when I put my coat back on so uh, I was praying it wasn't all the way over there because that was a long way to go in the dark um, when you're looking for something because I'd have had to have looked along the path all the way and uh, thankfully when I got to the pyramid it was still down next to the pyramid on top of the leaves and you've got to bear in mind that the, the floor of the woods is just covered in leaves um, but luckily, I don't know if I've still got it in my pocket I hope so <laughs> I don't want to be looking for that again uh, my key has got like a key ring on it that it's like a, a blue. It's, it's something that you wouldn't, like a colour you wouldn't see in the in the woods normally on the floor. You know, uh, in there somewhere. There we go. Come on. Yeah, that's what I lost. <laughs> it's got this blue sort of um, ribbon thing on it. Uh, it's got boxer dogs on. Um, so yeah, so that was luckily on top of the leaves and I saw that sticking up with my, my lights. So, uh, <sighs> so I remember I picked it up and was running back up through the woods and uh, I saw the lights from the other coming down so I shouted, I found them. And uh, thankfully <laughs> I was able to get back into Nina. So uh, I don't know what I'd have done otherwise because I didn't have another key that would actually start her. So I think first port of call is to go in there uh, get another key cut and uh, get the, the chip put in it as well, get that done. Um, yeah, we've just been up in the common room, common room, communal room. Um, we had a, a big um, cook up for tea, which I think I probably showed you earlier. And uh, we've just been sat in the communal room with the wood burner going, uh, watching Rocco play. So uh, Rocco's Joe's dog. So uh, yeah, it was all good. So. Um, this gimbal looks really funny because the camera is at an odd angle to Nina. Everything just doesn't look straight. It doesn't look like the gimbal straight, but the gimbal is straight. <laughs> it's just that the van is so tilted. It's tilted down this way and it's tilted down that way. I didn't park in a very good place. So uh, everything's sort of leaning to If you put a marble at that end, it would roll down to this corner. Uh, uh, never mind. Um, right, yeah, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to sit and watch a film on the iPad or something. And uh, I think it's going to be a slow sort of get up tomorrow. Um, Dave and Julie aren't too bothered, I think. Don't think uh, about when we leave. Uh, so there's nobody else here. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have a slow get up, have a cook up for breakfast. And uh, then we'll make our way home, I suppose. Uh, I think Joe's getting picked up late morning. So, uh, Joe and Rocco. Uh, um, right, so I'm going to go to bed. I shall see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Morning guys. Uh, um, we are up. <laughs> and uh, my gimbal still looks like it's going like that, but I'm sure it's because we're, we're on such a, a slope here. Yeah. I'm just boiling the kettle. We're going to take it over to Rick's uh, awning in a minute and cook up a breakfast. Uh, and we've actually got windows really condensated today. If you can see through there, we've actually got some blue sky. Yay. And the sheep have moved close. Yeah. Uh, do you know I'm not coming? Oh. Right, I'm going to uh, finish boiling. Oh well. 
Right, I'm going to uh, finish boiling this kettle and I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, well we've decided that my gimbal is probably a little bit lopsided so uh, I am using it at the moment and it just wants to stay lopsided. Uh, Joe's just gone home and um, we're starting to pack up now. Uh, Austin's there behind me and uh, Rick's way up there somewhere. Uh, up there he's starting to pack up as well. Uh, we're leaving the awnings till last minute because um, We've had quite a nice uh, couple of hours with the sun and quite a bit of wind, so the wind's drying the awnings out quite a lot, which is good. Um, so me and Austin are going to go for a walk with Ellie in a minute, and uh, then we'll probably make a move. So uh, yeah, it's been uh, we had a nice cook up breakfast again, and uh, Joe's dad Peter came and uh, to pick up Joe and uh, sat and had some breakfast with us too, which was quite good. And, uh, Good old Rocco, he was an absolute star, he was a lovely, lovely dog. We love Rocco. <laughs> that's our shop area. So, that's changed since we last came up here. He's got uh, like a roll along cafe. Uh, it hasn't been opened obviously since we've been here, uh, it's not worth it for him. Uh, there's Ellie. Ellie, Ellie, come say hello. Ellie, he's a good girl. <laughs> Ellie. Chase the bag. Yep, so uh, I've packed all my bed away. Uh, I've still got a lot of tidying up to do. But, uh, there's Nina. You see her in the sun. Let's go and have a look around. I don't think we've had such nice weather since we've been here. All muddy. This is where Joe's tent was. And uh, poor old Rick. It's uh, really muddy on the entrance to his awning because we've all been using it. And there's Nina. And my lovely awning. Just drying out lovely in that sun. Look, there's the sun up there. Lovely. Yeah, we woke up this morning to this new fencing up. <laughs> full of sheep. They were right over there by that fence up by the barn yesterday and by the time we all decided to get up it was all down here. I think that must be an electric fence up. Not sure, I'm not going to touch it and find out. There's the sheep, I've got horses. Austin's lost Ellie and there she is. <laughs> and, uh, right, I'm going to carry on doing what I was doing, whatever that was, and uh, I'll come back to you in a bit.
Hi guys, right, we're all ready for the off now. Nina's all uh, packed away. Um, this van has got no names all packed away. <laughs> Sammy down there, she's packed away. So uh, we're all ready to go. And there's Ellie down there. That's a nice picture. Yeah, nice colours, blue, and the, the blue, blue yeah, sky behind, know. nice fluffy clouds. Mm. We're off in a bit, so uh, we shall see you later in the next video. Bye Cheers, now. guys. Bye. Bye. Loving the camper van life